We're live. At this time, will all sergeants please start their recordings? PC recording rolling. Recording to the cloud, all set. Backup is rolling. Sergeant Lugo, your opening statement, please. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote of the Committee on Environmental Protection. At this time, would all panelists please turn on your video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair, we are ready to begin. Thank you, Sergeant Arms. Uh, and good morning, everyone. I am Costa Constantinidis, Chair of the Committee on Environmental Protection. And today, the committee will hold a vote on the plan to transition the use of Rikers Island from a corrections facility holding detainees to renewable Rikers, a sustainable, renewable contribution to New York City's green future. We will also hear and vote on intro in a 1966A, a pilot program to test the city's wastewater treatment plants for the presence of SARS-CoV-2, the strain of coronavirus that causes COVID-19, and submit a report with the results of that program. Uh, Rikers Island's violent history will always be a stain on New York City's history. Uh, but the bills we are voting on today have potential to change the future of the island into something the city can, the entire city can benefit from and can help to get the polluting infrastructure out of many of the communities that were most affected by Rikers legacy. Five years ago, the Littman Commission, an independent commission convened in 2016, outlined a scenario for beneficial reuse for Rikers Island that including power storage, research facility, and a public greenway. The renewable Rikers plan envisions ultimately shuttering the jail facilities, facilities on Rikers Island and transitioning Rikers to renewable energy as part of the city's uh, efforts to reduce fossil fuel usage 80% by the year 2050. Intro 1952, uh, 1592A, intro 1592A, I wanna make sure we're right on the record, would establish a process for transferring the lands and facilities of Rikers Island from the Department of Corrections to the Department of Citywide Administrative Services. In biannual evaluations, any portion and not active use for housing of persons or providing of services for such persons would be so transferred, with the entirety being transferred no later than August 31st of 2027. Additionally, the legislation establishes a Rikers Island Advisory Committee consisting of relevant commissioners, persons impacted by Rikers, experts in environmental justice and sustainability, which would evaluate and make recommendations on potential uses of the island for sustainability and resiliency purposes. This local law would take effect immediately. Intro 1593-A would require that a feasibility study be conducted as an appendix to the long-term energy plan to ascertain whether certain different types of renewable energy sources combined with battery storage are feasible on Rikers Island. The long-term energy plan as amended on by local law 99 of 2019 as part of the Climate Mobilization Act would be completed by December 31st, 2021 with the, and the feasibility study required by this legislation would be completed as an appendix to the initial plan by June of June 30th of 2022. This local law would take effect immediately. Finally, intro 1966-A would require the commissioner of the Department of Environmental Protection in consultation with the commissioner of the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene to create a pilot program to test the city's wastewater facilities for the presence of SARS-CoV-2 the strain of coronavirus that causes COVID-19 and submit a report with the results of this program. This local law would take effect immediately. Uh, we have an opportunity today to chart a greener New York City, a more sustainable New York City, a New York City that creates renewable energy, a New York City that you know helps wash away at least some small measure the stain of Rikers Island on our city's history and look to a greener and brighter future. I want to thank all the activists that you know, help envision this plan and push this plan forward and, all, and help us listen throughout the five boroughs we put it together. I wanna thank all of our committee staff, uh, Samara Swanston, our, 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 our legislative attorney, 
Our policy analysts, Nadia Johnson and Nick, uh, Ricky Chawla. Our financial analyst, Jonathan Seltzer. Uh, my legislative counsel, uh, Nicholas Wazowski. Uh, my chief of staff, Nick Rolison. Uh, and you know, I also wanna thank uh, Brad Reed and Laura Popa, both for their hard, hard work on these pieces of legislation, as well as our speaker, Corey Johnson, for his environmental vision and his vision for a better and, and more green New York City. So with that, I would recommend a yes vote on all the items on today's docket. Good morning, <clears throat> excuse me. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on environmental protection, introductions 1592A, 1593A, and 1966A. All items are coupled. Chair Constantinides. Very excited to vote aye on all. 11. <laughs> Permission to explain my vote? No. Absolutely. Absolutely. No. Um, uh, um, I, I just wanted to take a moment to. Um, I'm going to go off my video for a second. Um, uh, I just want to take a moment to thank and uh, commend the chair for this legislation and um, and speak for a second about. Um, about this renewable Rikers plan, um, sorry. Um, and 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 let the public know that, you know, when we said that we were going to do this, um, that we were going to actually close Rikers, <clears throat> um, we got a lot of a lot of opposition at the time saying that it was a bait and switch, or that this was never really going to happen that we were building new jails and we weren't going to close Rikers Island, um, that, um, that it was a jail expansion plan. Um, um, and just for the record, every, everyone should know that the, the capacity on Rikers Island is around 20,000 or more um, beds and um, the, the borough-based jail um, um, plan is, I believe, around 4,000 be beds. Um, and, but, but at the time, you know, the, 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 in, the integrity of this body and of that vote was called into question. Um, and I am grateful that we're at this point now where we can say affirmatively through legislation that Rikers Island is gonna close and that we are looking forward into the future for future generations by, by planning renewable, a renewable resource for, for energy so that our city can be um, um, powered um, in uh, not relying Time expired. on, on um, uh, and I'll just conclude right now on, um, on, um, on, on uh, dirty electricity or fossil fuels. Um, but can in fact be um, uh, powered under its its um, under its under its own volition through renewable sources, and um, it's a very it's a very important thing that we're doing this today, and that this legislation has come um, uh, to pass. And and so I want to just acknowledge the the work that everyone has done on it, and and that this is a an instance where the council is in fact. Um, uh, carrying through on 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 what it said it was going to do, um, and with that, I vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Levin. Menchaca. Uh, thank you. Uh, before I before I vote, though, uh, I raised my hand earlier. If I could ask some questions for the chair, uh, there's some I think things in, are important for people to know. Can I can I ask some questions? Sure. Time starts now. Thank you. So the, the first thing is, uh, I was in a, a personal meeting yesterday and someone brought up the concept of NYCHA on Rikers. And I think it'd be great for the chair of this <clears throat> committee who's really kind of pushing these pieces of legislation that I support, um, just to let everybody know that none of these bills uh, include housing or bringing housing to NYCHA. That would be a great thing for you to clarify. That's one. Uh, I think that these bills in no way guarantee anything. Um, 
Uh, they, these bills would guarantee that we get uh, the, you know, the Department of Corrections off of the island. Uh, these bills will have a study for sustainability and resiliency purposes, we'll study our energy plan. And uh, I think bringing any housing to, now this is me going as a personal, this is not me, you know, this is me just saying that it would be very complicated to put housing on Rikers on being that it's built on ash and garbage and there are methane leaks. Uh, so I think that would be very complicated. Awesome, I think it's just an important thing for our New Yorkers to hear. Uh, as I heard this, <laughs> I was perplexed. Uh, the other question is, uh, if the mayor wakes up tomorrow or there is a new administration, which is gonna happen soon, and the city scraps the four borough jails, that the legislation that we're really passing today will not be impacted at all, that it will move in perpetuity separate and apart from the four borough jails. And I think that's an important thing to clarify here today. Um, as I said before, these bills uh, in, in the law, they are said by no later than August 31st of 2027, uh, the Department of Corrections has to leave Rikers Island. Great, so I think that's another a really important component. Um, and so with that, I want to I want to explain my vote and say sure. thank you, Chair, for the incredible work that you have done as leader of this committee. Time think, expired. What, Go on, Member Chapman. Thank you. Uh, so much of what this council has done is moved the conversation uh, from and 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 I'm going to associate some of my words with Councilmember Levin, uh, but not all of them. Um, and and say that we did move the needle on this question on whether or not we should close Rikers. Uh, and it changed minds. Our discussions in the council and the debates that we had internally and externally really changed the mood about Rikers. And I think where we failed was approving four borough jails. Uh, that is a failure of, of this council. And I think that what I think is important here is that this committee is really looking forward to creating uh, a real vision for something that's better for, for Rikers. Um, Rikers is still open today. Um, the concept of a pre-trial um, cage is wrong. And so uh, I just wanna, as I approve with my vote on this committee, say yes to these bills uh, and more work needs to go back to, uh, to really right the wrongs because uh, as I've learned and I'm, I've become more really radicalized around the idea that we have to abolish these spaces that we uh, warehouse and cage our, our New Yorkers uh, before they even get convicted. Uh, and Rikers and these four borough jails uh, really represent that. So I'm really excited to be casting this vote uh, to really bring a, a whole new vision and allow for leadership to rise again. Uh, thank you so much, Chair. I vote aye. Thank you. Dharma Diaz. I vote aye. Thank you. One moment. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. All right, uh, so with that, I will gavel this committee hearing of the Environmental Protection uh, vote closed.